told you uh, that uh, aromatic compounds uh, they undergo photoexcitation to produce singlet and triplet scales and uh, most of the important uh, photo reactions in case of aromatic compounds uh, they take place by uh, triplet exciter state and uh, out of these uh, we have already discussed uh, photo isomerization reactions and photo substitution reactions uh, today we will be discussing photo cycloaddition reactions the photo cycloaddition reactions uh, basically uh, they take place uh, in case of uh, systems having uh, uh, pi bonds in them uh, to the arenes. So when arenes they are added to uh, the systems containing pi bonds like uh, alkenes, alkynes and dienes, they undergo such type of photocycloaddition reactions. And all these reactions they take place in the first excited state of the singlet the state of uh, the molecule. Uh, the uh, photo radiation uh, of aromatic compounds uh, with alkenes, uh, they will produce all types of uh, cycloaddition reactions ranging from 1-2 cycloaddition reaction to 1-3 cycloaddition reactions or 1-4 cycloaddition reaction. Or we say ortho additions, ortho products they are formed meta products they are formed and para products they are formed as the major product in all these types of reactions. For example, if uh, we react benzene with uh, tetra substituted alkene, then uh, through 1 to cyclo, uh, cycloaddition reaction uh, in presence of uh, uh, UV light uh, in the S1 state. Uh, this will be converted into this type of product where one and two positions of the benzene uh, they will add to the alkene molecule. So such type of cycloaddition is called as one two uh, cycloaddition reaction. Similarly if uh, this carbon and this carbon if addition of alkene takes place at one three position then such type of uh, product formed is called as meta uh, product and such type of cycloaddition is called as 1,3 cycloaddition reaction. Similarly, if uh, the addition of the alkene takes place at these two positions, say 1 and 4, if this is 1, then this is 4 or if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, then we can say 3 and 6. So, if addition of alkene takes place at these carbons, then we say the para product will be formed and addition will be called as 1,4 uh, cycloaddition reaction. And these are uh, the various types of major products uh, which will be formed by uh, addition either at 1,2 position or 1,3 position or 1,4 position. Uh, aromatic. And then as far as mechanism of these uh, photocyclo additions is concerned, uh, there uh, are two types of mechanism uh, which have been uh, which have been proposed by uh, different uh, scientists. Uh, the one category of uh, mechanism is uh, pre-fulvin type uh, diuretical uh, intermediate mechanism. Uh, this was uh, given by Smith and Gilbert and this uh, gives only uh, how the meta adduct is formed uh, in these types of photocycloaddition reactions. Whereas the major mechanism uh, which have been given for all the positions or for meta and para adduct formation is given by Axiplex mechanism. So this exiplex mechanism was given by Morrison and Seinwalper and according to uh, this mechanism the uh, aromatic compound and uh, the pi system uh, which are the substrates for the formation of photocycloaddition products 
they will first form uh, exiplex intermediate uh, between uh, the donor molecule and the acceptor molecule that means the aromatic system and the uh, pi system and they will produce radical ion pairs as intermediates and these radical ion pairs they are stabilized by uh, the opposite in, uh, columbic interaction to give us the uh, final product which may be ortho products meta products or para products uh, in uh, these types of photo addition products either we can get only one type of product or two types of products or all the three types of products may be formed but out of these one will be the major others will be the minor uh, attacks based on stereochemistry of the photo addition reaction now for example uh, the first uh, pre fulbin type uh, bi radical intermediate mechanism here uh, when uv light is passed through benzene then it uh, gets excited into the first singlet state and this first singlet state changes uh, this into this type of intermediate which is called as free fulvin uh, intermediate so this is uh, this type of uh, radical uh, is formed uh, during the uh, excitation of benzene through uv light then this uh, free fulvin interacts with the uh, alkene or pi system uh, and it undergoes 1-3 uh, cycloaddition reaction uh, to give us this type of meta product and you can see over here this is uh, carbon 1 this is carbon 2 this is carbon 3 4 5 and 6 and the alkene or pi system adds to carbon 1 and 3 to give us this type of meta -addition. so as i have told you if addition is 1 3 cycloaddition then meta product will be formed if cycloaddition is 1 2 cycloaddition then ortho product is formed so similarly uh, the exiplex mechanism uh, can tell us uh, about the formation of all the three types of uh, products in these uh, photocycloaddition so, for example, uh, when uh, benzene uh, reacts with uh, tetrasubstituted alkene and it is uh, irradiated, then first this type of exiplex uh, will be formed in the first excited state. Then this uh, will form the uh, ionic pairs uh, of these two substrates uh, due to columbic interaction between the septor and the donor and we can either uh, either get ortho products or meta products or para -addicts. so if addition is 1 to cyclo addition then this type of product will be formed if this is uh, 1 3 as i have shown shown over here uh, we will get this type of uh, adduct formation so this uh, structure is equivalent to this structure uh, in writing then uh, if one four uh, cycloaddition takes place then uh, para product will be formed as the product. now uh, as far as exiplex mechanism uh, is concerned this is more generalized mechanism and uh, according to this mechanism uh, the efficiency of ortho and meta cycloaddition uh, in case of uh, aromatic systems to ethene this depends on two factors one is stability of the exiplex uh, which is formed and other is polarity of the normal so we will discuss one by one that how the stability of exiplex uh, will affect the formation of different types of cyclovidation and how the polarity of the solvent will affect these uh, cyclo so according to some general rules, uh, higher stability of exiplex will favor meta addition and the ground state uh, ion pair formation uh, between electron donor and electron uh, acceptor will favor ortho addition. So if exiplex is uh, 
having more stability than meta products will be formed. But if there is an ion formation uh, in the ground state, that is, uh, uh, xiplex is being formed in the first excited. So if the iron pair, iron pair is formed in the ground state itself, then uh, by the electron donor and electron receptor, that will lead to the formation of ortho product. So this is a general rule about exiplex mechanism. Then in case of meta uh, cycloduct formation, uh, the endoselectivity uh, is preferred over exoselectivity because of the greater stability of the endoside which exiplex which we will explain in the uh, subsequent uh, slides similarly uh, for ortho additions the electron donor alkenes they will give us endo product whereas electron acceptor alkenes will give us exo uh, product preference so that means uh, in case of one to cyclo additions uh, whether we will get endo products or exo product is very much dependent on the alkene which is being used uh, as a substrate. Then in case of substituted benzenes, the ortho additions they are uh, preferred with polar arene substituents than for alkyl substituents. Uh, then lifetime of uh, exiplex is longer in solvent medium polarity uh, such as uh, diethyl ether or dimethoxy ethane but it decreases in case of polar solvents due to formation of ion pair. So basically in case of uh, solvent of medium polarity the lifetime of exiplex is more and because of that we will get uh, the meta addition product more easily. Whereas uh, in polar solvent, uh, we will have uh, formation of ion pairs, and as I have told you, that uh, uh, the ion pairs they lead to the formation of ortho additions. So uh, the use of uh, solvent or polarity of the solvent will also determine that whether there will be an ortho duct formation or meta duct formation or a para duct formation. So, uh, first is uh, 1 2 cyclo additions or ortho product formation. So, when alkenes uh, they are having electron withdrawing groups uh, attached to them, uh, for example, if this alkene is having cyano group, we know this is. And electron return. In such cases, uh, we will get ortho uh, or 1 2 cyclo addition products as the major product. Uh, although uh, in these cases, some para product is also formed, but that is formed in the uh, minor amount. Now, the uh, uh, 1 2 cyclo addition product or ortho product can either be exo product or endo product this will also be determined by the type of uh, the phi system which we are using so for example if we are having a strong electron donor alkenes such as uh, 2 3 dihydropurane -pure or 3 4 dihydropyrane uh, they will give us uh, endo isomers uh, as the major product whereas strong electron acceptor uh, alkenes uh, like this one, acrylonitrile, they will give us uh, exo isomers as the major product. So we can see over here, uh, in uh, these types of cases, uh, a strong exiplex is formed and this will lead to uh, exo product in major amounts through 1-2 cycle. Whereas uh, endo product is also formed, but that is formed as a minor uh, product. Uh, similarly, uh, if we take the case of uh, this uh, tetramethyl 1,3-dioxane, this will also give us orthoduct uh, uh, with benzene, uh, but uh, uh, because of the destabilization of the intermediate uh, XC complex uh, by steric crowding, 
uh, because of the presence of these uh, four uh, sterically hindered groups we will get only uh, uh, product formation through i pair complex and only uh, one product is formed no uh, two products they are not formed similarly uh, if we add the uh, nanthrene to malic anhydride then also uh, we will get endo product as the uh, visual product in the uh, then uh, well, a few more examples of uh, 2 plus 2 photo uh, products in case of uh, aromatic compounds uh, if we react these with carbon carbon triple bonded derivative say alkyl derivative Uh, so acid uh, methyl acetyl dicarboxylate when this is reacted with benzene this will also undergo one two cycloaddition reactions and a four member cyclobutene ring will be formed which will undergo rearrangement to give us these types of uh, cyclooctatetraene as the product similarly if we add uh, diphenyl acetylene to naphthalene this will also undergo one to cycloaddition reaction and in the initial stage we will get uh, this type of uh, cyclobutene derivative through one to cycloaddition reaction and uh, this uh, on further photochemical radiation can undergo cyclization at these two points So uh, one electron from here, one electron from here, we will form a carbon-carbon bond at this point. One electron from here, one electron from here, we will get another uh, carbon-carbon bond. So we will get this type of photo that which will be formed to further rearrangement of the uh, one-two cyclo that formed in the initial stage. Similarly, if we heat this adduct at more than 180 degrees centigrade thermally then uh, this will undergo uh, breaking of this bond and rearrangement will take place to give us uh, this type of uh, cyclo uh, octa triene as the product now uh, another example is in case of n methyl indole uh, they will also act as uh, aromatic systems uh, this bond uh, this carbon carbon bond will act as an aromatic uh, system and uh, this will add to the carbon carbon uh, triple bond in presence of some sensitizer uh, which is uh, used on the photochemical radiation and we will get ortho dex as the uh, initial product and these orthodex then uh, undergo uh, rearrangement reaction uh, by breaking of this bond and movement of this carbon carbon double bond to this position and we will get uh, benzene as the pins as the product after uh, the rearrangement of uh, initially formed one two cycle then uh, a few more examples in case of uh, naphthalene derivatives uh, when uh, the photocycloaddition of uh, four methyl uh, one cyano naphthalene uh, is done uh, with tetramethyl ethylene then uh, this type of uh, cycloadduct is formed but this adduct you can see is a regio selective uh, adduct so uh, uh, because this uh, molecule is an asymmetrical molecule uh, here we are having an electron leasing substituent present here we are having an electron withdrawing substituent present and this alkene will add preferably to uh, the carbon carbon double bond which is attached to an electron withdrawing group and we will get a regio selective one to cyclo addition product like this. similarly uh, the type of substituent present on the aromatic ring uh, uh, is very much uh, determined that what kind of product uh, is formed in these types of one to cyclo addition for example if uh, one of the substituent present is uh, an alcohol and uh, 
the OH group is also present on the uh, alkyl molecule which is being added to the aromatic system. Then uh, these two substituents they will uh, undergo hydrogen bonding and because of the hydrogen bonding this alkyl will add to the aromatic system in a very regioselective as well as stereoselective manner. So because of this hydrogen bonding possibility we will get only this type of regioselective and stereoselective. Then uh, similarly, 1,2 cycloaddition can also take place uh, through intramolecular photo uh, cycloaddition also. So if uh, the aromatic system is also having the carbon-carbon double bond or carbon-carbon triple bond in the molecule, then also these types of ortho product uh, formation can take place. So for example, uh, in case of thin toxic 4 butanoyl oxy acetyl benzene, uh, this one, when this is uh, radiated with the UV light, then 1,2 uh, cycloaddition will take place at uh, uh, this carbon-carbon double bond and this carbon-carbon double bond. And we will get these types of ortho cycloadducts which are formed. Then similarly, uh, in these types of uh, substrates, where we are having aromatic system as well as carbon-carbon triple bond present within the molecule. Then this carbon-carbon triple bond will add to the uh, aromatic system and we will get these types of 1,2 cycloaddition uh, products in the form uh, in these types of stage. So here uh, I think uh, structure is wrong. It should be a carbon-carbon double bond because carbon carbon uh, triple bond that will form one electron from here, one electron from here, they will form a bond, one electron from here, one electron from here, they will form a bond, and remaining will be carbon carbon double bond. So, here it should be carbon carbon double bond. Then, similarly, uh, meta uh, product formation or 1 3 cycloaddition uh, reaction they can also take place uh, when aromatic uh, ring is reacted with uh, say uh, pi systems. Uh, for example, in this case, when uh, cyclopentane is reacted with benzene, uh, it can undergo 1,3 uh, cycloaddition in presence of UV light. And here, in such type of uh, reaction, uh, the endo product is formed as the major product, whereas exo product is formed as the minor product. And uh, the endo, endo isomer is formed through this type of exciplex uh, formation, and exo is formed through this type of exciplex uh, intermediate. Now, if we compare the stability of these two intermediates, the uh, exciplex intermediate formed uh, which will give us endo product is more stable because uh, the endo sandwich exiplex uh, has more electronic interaction between the molecule, uh, this uh, alkene molecule and aromatic system in comparison to this uh, exiplex intermediate. So that is why uh, the endo product is formed in major amount as compared to uh, exiplex uh, formed uh, to give us exo product. Uh, this is in case of uh, cyclone. But if we change this system, uh, for example, in case of 1,3-dioxoles, uh, uh, if uh, this is the case, only difference from the previous example is here we are having two oxygen atoms in uh, place of carbon atoms and uh, these uh, two hydrogens they have been substituted by the methyl group. Now uh, because now the uh, type of substrate involved uh, in case of pi system is different then we will see that we can have different types of product in this case. So for example if uh, endo product is to be formed then this type of exiplex uh, 
will be formed. If XO is to be formed, then this type of exiflex will be formed. And if we compare the stability of these two exiflex, because of the presence of these uh, load pair of electrons on these uh, electron rich uh, cysteine diode ether uh, moiety, uh, there will be a repulsion uh, between the oxygen atoms uh, of uh, this alkene moiety and the aromatic system. And because this repulsion will be more in case of endo substituent than in case of exo substituent. So, because here this negatively charged oxygens they are towards the positive charge, they are attracted towards this. Here, these uh, oxygen atoms they are towards the negatively charged aromatic system. So that is why this uh, exiplex will be less stable as compared to this exiplex. exiplex. So uh, because of that here the exo product will be formed in the major amount as compared to endo product. So uh, we can see from the product formation also that the ratio of the exo to endo product formation is 94 is to so similarly, uh, in this case, uh, in addition to meta products, some ortho product can also be formed. Although this is formed as a uh, minor product, but ratio of the formation of meta to ortho is uh, 3.5 is to 1. So that means if 10% of this is formed, then uh, sorry, if 10% uh, of uh, one two cycloduct is formed, then 35% of meta will be formed. And out of that 35%, that means uh, the exo to endo product formation will be 94 to 4. So this is how uh, we can explain uh, the formation of exo or endo isomers. But uh, the formation of exo and endo isomer is very much dependent on the type of pi system which is involved in. Now similarly, if I change uh, the pi system to vanillin carbonate, here you can see that I have replaced from the previous example, here we were having two methyl groups. And those electron leasing groups, they have been replaced by an electron vitrine carbonyl group. So this electron vitrine carbonyl group will attract electron density uh, on these uh, oxygens towards itself and the availability uh, the uh, negative charge present on these oxygen will be diminished so that is why here uh, the endo product formation uh, is uh, uh, formed as a stable uh, axiplex formation is compared in comparison to exo because the electron density present at these two oxygen is withdrawn by this uh, electron withdrawing carbonyl and because of that here the endo uh, product formation uh, takes place to a more extent in comparison to exo product and ratio of endo to exo is 5 is to 1 so that means uh, if uh, one molecule of exo is formed five molecules of endo will be formed. So if 10% of this is formed, then 50% of this will be formed. So the endo product formation is five times uh, the formation of exo product. So as I have told you that oxygen atoms uh, in five membered ring, they are electron deficient due to the presence of this component. So that is why here the uh, exiplex form uh, by the uh, endo product formation is more stable as compared to X. And that is why this will give us endo isomer preparation. Now, uh, if uh, this uh, the carbonyl group present in the previous example uh, is replaced by methylene mm -hmm. group. So that means the electron donor uh, substituted and similarly I add the electron leasing group for the aromatic system. So uh, any soul when this is added to this then uh, the meta product uh, which is formed uh, the endo product is formed in 18% 
and exo product is formed in 37%. So here also uh, the uh, exo product where these uh, electron rich oxygen atoms they are away from the electron rich uh, aromatic system the major product will be formed from that side. So here also this uh, exitlex will be less stable as compared to this exitlex and because of that the exo product is formed in more amount in comparison to exitlex uh, formed in uh, endo. Then uh, one for cycloaddition here uh, the para product formation takes place and this reaction is similar to Bewes Elder reaction here uh, the mechanism is also a concerted and stereo specific mechanism so here the aromatic system this benzene will behave as a diene whereas uh, this will act as a dienophile so there will be uh, 4 plus 2 cycloaddition type of uh, thing and the uh, product form will be para product. Then similarly, uh, photocycloaddition of dienes and alenes can also take place uh, in a similar way uh, as we have seen in uh, other examples of alkene. So benzene, uh, when this is uh, reacted with uh, furane, uh, we will get uh, different types of product formation. Uh, para product will be formed in major amount 50% of amount and then uh, this para product can uh, undergo uh, further cyclization at this point and uh, one electron from here and one electron from here they will form a bond like this then one electron from here one electron from here they will form a bond like this and we will get this type of duct formation. So para will be converted into this type of a duct in 50% and in addition we can also get a meta product of uh, about 11% and uh, the if uh, they are taken in once to one uh, proportion then uh, para product is formed as the major product similarly when this benzene uh, reacts with uh, Alenes, then also we can get uh, para product as well as meta product, and these products they are formed in 2 is to 1 ratio. So, 2 molecules of this are formed, then 1 molecule of meta product, and so on. Then, uh, as I have told you, uh, solvent also plays an important role in uh, these types of uh, photochemical reactions uh, for example uh, if we take the case of uh, aromatic systems where we have uh, uh, having uh, electron leasing groups like anisole then in case of aprotic solvent uh, uh, the cycloduct will be formed as the major product Whereas if we use protic solvent, then photo substitution products they will be formed as the major product. So uh, the type of solvent used uh, will tell us whether uh, we will get a cyclo uh, photo product or a substituted product will be formed in such cases. So uh, photo radiation of uh, say for example any soul with acrylonitrile in acetonitrile as the solvent give uh, one to orthocycloduct as the major product whereas if we carry out uh, the same reaction in methanol then para substituted product will, is formed in 49 percent uh, along with a small amount of ortho substituted product and uh, if we uh, do the same reaction for example in this case uh, as uh, you can see from the reaction, if any soul is reacted with uh, this uh, cyanoethene, uh, vinyl cyanide, then if uh, we use uh, cyclohexane, a non-polar solvent, then we will get uh, these uh, two products 
one two cyclotics they are formed uh, <coughs> which may uh, have uh, the methoxy group present either at this place or at this place so this is a one two cyclotic whereas this is a three four cyclotic and these are formed in two is to one ratio similarly uh, if instead of cyclohexane we use acetonitrile then 73% of the product formed is 1 to cyclotic so ortho product is formed as the major product if we change the uh, solvent from non polar to polar solvent similarly if we use uh, methyl alcohol instead of acetonitrile then we will get photo substituted product instead of photo cyclo addition product so formation of these uh, photo substituted products uh, this is because uh, in these cases aciplex formation is more stable whereas in presence of methanol uh, the formation of iron pair complex is more and because of that the uh, cation radical uh, will be more stable and this cation radical formation will lead to the formation of substitution uh, products in ortho or para position instead of photocyclosis so uh, we can see that the choice of solvent uh, will very much determine whether photo products they will be formed uh, uh, photo cycloducts will be formed or photo substituted products they will be formed during such type of so these are the references which have been used for preparing this lecture thank you very much